Okay, so let's have this topic. So dividing polynomials using synthetic division. So we have these given polynomials and this is the dividend. This is the divisor. So first, we need to check the exponents of the dividend if complete. Since for this dividend, the highest exponent is 3, then 2, 1, and a constant. So since the exponents of this dividend are complete, then bring down all the numerical coefficients. So for this term, we have 2. For this term, that's positive 5. For this term, that's negative 4. And for this term, that's negative 5. Then in the divisor, since the second term is positive 1, so therefore on this side, that becomes negative 1. Then on this area, since in the divisor, on the first term, there is a numerical coefficient, positive 2. So we need to divide this area by positive 2 for the final answer. Then apply synthetic division. So in synthetic division, we need to bring down the first numerical coefficient. So bring down this positive 2. Then 2 divide by 2. That's 1. Then multiply. So we have this positive 1 times negative 1. That's negative 1. Then add. So positive 5 plus negative 1. That's positive 4. Then divide. So positive 4 divide by 2. That's positive 2. Then multiply. So positive 2 times negative 1. That's negative 2. Then add. So negative 4 plus negative 2. That's negative 6. Then divide. So negative 6 divide by 2. That's negative 3. Then multiply. So negative 3 times negative 1. That's positive 3. Then add. So negative 5 plus positive 3. That's negative 2. So for this last number, there is no need to divide this one by 2 because this one is the remainder. Then for the final answer, since the highest exponent of the dividend is 3, so therefore minus 1 for the highest exponent. So for the first term, that's x to the power 2. For the second term, that's x to the power 1 or x. And for the uh, last term, that's the constant. So therefore, the final answer, so we have 1 x squared or simply x squared. Then we have this positive 2x, so plus 2x. Then this negative 3, so minus 3. Then for the remainder, since negative, so that's minus, then 2 over the divisor, 2x plus 1. So this is now the quotient of these polynomials.